Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series videos I've been doing for the while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff, okay? I'm going to let you know all the all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that I'm going to stumble my words with a little bit. Uh, which, at the present time that I'm doing this, I still have this dumbass blemish on my nose. Just, oh, I hate it so much. But I figure if I point it out, then something, something, bravery of heart, I don't know. But it's there and it's a thing, deal with it. Anyway, I'm inside the truck, wearing a crappy work shirt, that means that I was on my way to a place, I found a thing to review after work. It doesn't have to mean that, I could just wear my work shirt out and about. I'm not going to do that though, it's typically pretty grody. But, you know what, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Like, if I'm just working all day, and I just don't care to change shirts. Eh. Anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, we're going to find out, because I bought items in this bag, and I'm going to grab one of them. Apparently, we're going to do... Boom! White Rock! Ginger Ale. It's caffeine-free. It's got a little fairy on it. Like, sort of, uh... Ah, uh, Tinkerbell-esque, I guess. No idea. No idea whatsoever. Uh, I I hopped into a random ass gas station. This was there. I like ginger ale. I've never heard of White Rock, though apparently they've been around for over a hundred years. So there you go with that. Shows you how up to date I am on things. Yeah, I've never I've never heard of them. Never. And I mean, I like I said, I'm somebody I enjoy some ginger ale. I've reviewed ginger ales on this very uh, channel. Uh, ginger beers and all the such. So I don't know how this one slipped through, but I found it now. I'm going to try it out. Hopefully over a hundred years of doing will make some, for some good ginger ale. Let's give it a go, folks. It's not explode on me now. So old. I'm hoping... Maybe it'll be like Verner's because it's super old. I love Verner's. Verner's is phenomenal. That stuff is a national treasure. It smells gingery. That's good. Basically, where I'm kind of at with this. Low expectations, Canada dry level. Sorry, I've done some Canada dry stuff. I like their ginger, uh, their uh, uh, Canada dry bold because that actually tastes like what I want ginger ale to taste like. Uh, but typically there are other stuff. Just doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for me. High end would be like, like Verner's. Like Verner's, Sagram's. Sagram's has some good stuff too. So let's, let's figure out where it falls. Hmm. That's interesting. Very mixed feelings on this one. Um, so... It's doing that thing the Canada Dry does, where it's ginger soda, but there's no real oomph to it, okay? And, like, for me, I like my ginger sodas to have an oomph. This does not have much oomph. It might have a little bit more than ginger than uh, Canada Dry, but it's not significant. It's definitely not up there with, like, Verner's or Sagram's. Um, however, it is very unique tasting. Like, I can genuinely say that I don't think I've had a ginger ale or even a ginger beer that tastes exactly like this. It has something going for it that makes it stand out. But it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. It almost...
Well, it has citric acid in it. Maybe that's it, but then I don't know if maybe citric acid is in every fucking, uh, uh, every ginger ale. Um, because the thing is, it almost reminds me a little bit, let me emphasize a little bit, of Green River. Um, not the song, but there's a soda, it's particularly common in the Midwest, hooray, uh, called Green River Soda. If you, excuse me, if you've never had it, I suggest it, I like it a lot. It's kind of a lime soda, it doesn't taste anything like Sprite or any of that stuff, but it's very unique. Something about this reminds me a little bit. It, it, yeah. Call me fucking crazy. Say my taste buds suck ass. I recently got into it with a guy in the comments about that. He's all like, brr, Fago doesn't taste good, or Fago doesn't taste cheap. I've reviewed a few Fago items. For me, it tastes a little bit cheap. Now that said, to that individual, I wish you well in your enjoyment of Fago. I don't even dislike Fago. I don't think it's the best soda in the world, that's all I'm saying. Uh, not to call that guy out, but yeah, I called him out a little bit. But there's definitely something to it. Like it's, and like I said, it does feel a little bit reminiscent of Green River. It's obviously not that, but it's, there, there's something to it. Because it's, like surprisingly, like what with it being as old as it is, I would have expected a more harsh ginger uh, taste. But maybe kind of like with Hire's Root Beer, which if you're not familiar, like Hire's Root Beer is like one of the oldest uh, soft drinks that's been available in the United States. You know, I think I think Verner's might be the first. I'm not 100% on that, but I think Verner's might be the oldest. And I think Hire's is the second. And like when I finally got the opportunity to try Hire's, because it's not common, uh, at least not where I live, I was kind of disappointed, you know, that it didn't have, like, a better pedigree to it, and this might kind of be that, but not in the same way, because with Hires, Hires just felt like kind of okay root beer, it wasn't bad, it was, you know, very, eh, this definitely is not going to be my favorite ginger ale, but I do like that it has something about it that makes it stand out, like, there, this is not something that I'm going to get from Canada Dry, that I'm going to get from Burners, I'm going to get from, you know, Sagram's, what have you. There is definitely something about it that is unique. Now, that said, it's a mixed deal, because on the one hand, the thing that makes it unique, I think in part also makes it not a particularly great ginger ale for, like, my personal ginger ale standards, what I want out of ginger ale, because like I said, I want, I want a punchy ginger ale. This is not that. It's it's sweeter than that. But, again, that's also what makes it stand out. And it kind of makes it, you know, it's the thing that makes it something that I would actually probably go back to that particular gas station. Not on a regular basis or anything. Not if I particularly wanted a ginger ale. But specifically just for this item. Because it is unique and kind of weird. Uh, at least compared to, you know, other ginger ales that I've had. There's just something about the way... I'm going to say I'm gonna say it's the citric acid. I don't know that that's the case. Like I said, it could be... But there's, there's some sort of like a, you know, almost a fruity element to it. And it working with the, you know, the ginger aspect of it, it dilutes the ginger aspect... But the two flavors work together well, and it ends up being actually really tasty. It's just not a great ginger ale, but I do actually really like it as a drink. So, for that reason, would I recommend it? Yes and no. I think it's a tasty beverage, and I think that it's over 100 years worth of service is commendable. Uh... You know, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want a really good ginger ale, I'll say this. If you're somebody who likes Canada Dry, this might be something to go with. Because I, I 
personally think that this offers more than Canada Dry does, even though I think Canada Dry is probably a little bit better as a ginger ale. I think, personally, I like this more than Canada Dry. However, if you're somebody who you are more of a dedicated ginger in your ginger ale aspect, it's not that, but it is still a nice drink, and I, I genuinely like it. I, and like I said, it's cool because I usually don't get, you know, I mean, I try lots of new stuff. But sometimes they're very similar or whatever. This is entirely unique, and I like it. So, hooray! Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one, then. Oh, man, I have no idea where that cap went. Oh, well. Uh, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Two pounds for rest of your Folks, if you can go over there and have yourselves a truly uh, uh, ginger-tastic rest of your life. Um, the root and the people, I guess. Sure. Ginger folk are nice. Is it okay to call people ginger folk, gin like ginger? Or is that like a thing that I'm like not supposed to do? If it is, I apologize. I don't think it's usually offensive, but then at the same time, I'm not, I'm not. So I'm just saying, uh, very final thing, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is how we're always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Like in that in the instance that I just had before this. I'd stumbled over my words a little bit, you know, and I went over there and I kind of, apo you know, pseudo-apologized, if it's worth apologizing for, you know, because I don't want to offend anybody. You know, I try to keep my show inclusive. I want people of all creeds and cultures and all that stuff, except for, like, Nazis and shit. Fuck them. But, you know, other folks... Yeah, pedophiles, not so much. Uh, oh, you know, like crazy dictators. I don't need them either. Although it would be kind of weird and a little bit funny if like, and then eventually terrifying, if it ended up being like, you know, a last king of Scotland situation where like some dictator and some like, you know, ass end part of the world went over there and for whatever reason took to my show and was like, I like this guy. He goes over there and he has the things and he does the stuff. I tried to go for the most like, impossibly generic, just you don't know where anyone is coming from accent with that, by the way, because I don't want to insinuate anything. Anyway, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your lives. That's all I'm saying. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. We're having a wacky one, folks. I've been up for a while. Uh, but yeah, uh, maybe you're going to go over there, folks. Maybe, maybe you're the original white rock model for the little fairy thing that they got going on maybe you're somehow still alive and you're like i don't know 187 years old first of all if that's the case that's amazing and you need to go over there and talk to the folks at guinness maybe some scientists because we need to figure out you know how the hell you managed to live that long that's incredible um but maybe you're that person maybe you've magic fairy powers there we go folks i figured it out key to long life is having magic fairy powers and then some you know solid ginger ale or conversely you could not do that um and you could be you know a real thing you could uh it's a thing that you could do folks it's a thing that you could do um you go, you go over there you could detail your car it's nothing i would ever do because i just don't give a damn but I know some people do, and they take a lot of pride in it, and that's fantastic if you do. Maybe you take a lot more pride in your car than I do in mine. Hooray! Bye.